Hey, what's up guys? Ali here from MySocialU.com and welcome back to my channel. In this video today, we're going to talk about how to generate email leads from your Facebook groups. And I'm going to share the tool I use and also the step-by-step -step process I use in today's video. Before we jump into it, you know what to do. Subscribe, hit the bell icon and also like this video. All right, now let's jump into this. And by the way, this is the powerful tactic that I don't think a lot of people use. When it comes to lead generation from Facebook, people look at or think about Facebook pages or Facebook ads, but not many people are using Facebook groups. And that's why this tactic is very, very powerful. All right, the first thing I want to show you is the tool that I use. And here's the tool. It's called GroupBot, and it's a Chrome extension and also a platform. And I'll do a demo, a complete demo in today's video. But let me show you here's the features or how this tool works. Basically, when people join your Facebook group, you're going to ask for their email address. And then from that point onward, and I'll show you how to do this in today's video. This tool, GroupWatch, is going to collect those email addresses. Let's resize this. And then you can do a couple of powerful things. One, you're able to create a Facebook custom audience link and run ads against that email list. Or you can also send those email lists to your marketing systems like MailChimp, ActiveCampaign, ConvertKit, and then send them autoresponders. How powerful that is. So this is a must. If you have a Facebook group, this tool is a must have to grow your business, to increase your sales and revenue. Now I'm sure you're thinking, and yes, I am an affiliate for this tool. And also I use this tool on a consistent basis. And by the way, in the description below, I'll leave two links. So there's a lifetime deal. You only have to pay once and then you get lifetime access. And then also there's a regular link. So you can check out or check this out. Uh, after watching today's video, because make sure you watch today's video to the, the full video so you understand how to use this tool. Um, all right, now that was the kind of quick uh, demo of the tool. So your step number one is going to be get this tool from the description, the, the links in the description, install the tool or install the Chrome extension and then, you know, sign up with your Gmail address or um, your email. All right, now what's going to happen is once you do that, basically, you'll see a Chrome icon. So here's the, it's in, in my Chrome. It's the uh, Chrome extension right here. It sits in my Chrome browser, group boss. All right, and right now it's saying total uh, leads captured one. I'll give you the, the demo. So first thing I wanna do is, I do have a couple of, uh, let me refresh this browser. I have some of my Facebook uh, groups already added. So I'm going to go to a brand new group, which is which I have not added to my group boss. So again, you know, step number one is to get the group boss by clicking the links below. Step number two is sign up and then install the Chrome extension. And then you'll start seeing the Chrome extension right here in your browser. All right. So now I'm going to go to one of the groups uh, that I am an admin of and show you how to now our next step is going to be how do you add groups? to group boss this platform so once i go to my group what i'm going to do is click on that chrome extension and look at this so i'm able to add this group right here so i hit add and then if i scroll down look at this so this group marketing and growth hacking it's now added to my group boss right here and then here's the cool thing you can capture email leads in a couple of ways. One is you can enter a URL, a public URL of any Google Sheet. So go create, if you use Gmail, go create a Google Sheet and then input the URL link here um, and then save it. Or you can also capture emails in the, the group boss platform. So it looks like something like this. And we'll, we'll go there in a second. But let me go back here. So I'm going to select that group marketing growth hacking. And so here's the other cool thing. You can also add the autoresponders, the MailChimp active campaign and all of these cool and mem lists. If you use any of these, you can add these. For now, for the purpose of this demo, I'm gonna hit next. And that's it. Now that group is added, marketing and growth hacking. Now, when I go to my dashboard which basically i'm just signed into the account gonna refresh and let's see if that gets appears here yeah it is marketing and growth hacking so i did not add a google sheet link in there 
and I also did not add an auto responder, which you can totally do. So for me, what's going to happen is once I sign in, so here's my, now let me kind of give you a quick tour of the dashboard. So once you create an account, you install the Chrome extension, obviously you can go back to groupboss.io, sign in with your account, and it's going to look something like this. Um, this is your dashboard, and you'll see a list of all the groups that you add right here. And this is my email address that I'm using. And here's the dashboard, how many email leads I have captured. So one uh, for now, which I did today for the purpose of this demo. All right now, so how do you, so we saw how to get the group boss, we, uh, and then install the Chrome extension, then we log into there. And then how, we saw how to add your Facebook groups to this platform group boss. Now, how do you capture the email leads? Let's do that demo right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to, I have a Facebook group called online course creators. So I'm going to go there and let's see. So there are 28 people who want to join this group. So that's like pending uh, approvals, right? So I'm going to click on that and now look at this. So this one email lead, I believe it from that group. So I'm going to go to online course creator group. And that one email lead is, it came from that group. But now let's go back there because I want to show you. So obviously some people don't enter their emails. It's really up to them. You cannot force people, but look at this. So this person right here. So this person entered the email address, right? So here is what, what you're going to do. So when I click on approve by group box, so now that's approved, I'm going to refresh this. And now I am going to go and refresh my dashboard. And now this should say two. There you go. So I captured the second email, right? And also if I go to the I can, you can also see your data group wise, or you can do all groups, right? So look at this was one and now just, I accepted one more person and that person gave me the email and I have that in there. Now, since I didn't attach the Google sheet, where are those emails going? So for that, you have to click on the dashboard. Let me actually, the data boss. So you have to click on the data boss and then the online course creator, that group. And this is where all those emails are coming or all that data is coming. So look at this right here, right? I'm getting these people, they're capturing the emails. And these are the, this is question one, question two, or um, these are the questions that I have asked people when they join my Facebook group and or my Facebook groups. And one of them is their email address. So by the way, so when you, you go to the dashboard to look at the graph and the, the total number, and then you can go to, from this uh, drop down. you can go to the group and then look at the actual, the raw data, I call it. And here's the cool thing, what I love about um, GroupBoss. There are other tools out there too, but the thing I love about GroupBoss is, one, you're able to create the Facebook custom audience and lookalike audiences. And two, you can also download this data, which is very powerful in the CSV file. And then you can imagine the possibility. You can upload it to Facebook uh, Ads Manager, Business Manager. You can also upload it to your email marketing system. So it's a very, very powerful tool. All right, now let's go back. And I do have a lot of other requests that here uh, inside the group. So I'm going to just hit Approve All by Group Boss. So make sure you do Approve All by Group Boss. And you have Chrome extension. And also make sure you're signed in, you're logged in. I'm going to do group uh, approve all. And now it's just going to take a couple of seconds to approve all the people. All right, confirm by group boss. And I'm, I'm going to refresh this, to make sure there's no pending members. There are some, so I'm going to hit one more time, approve all by group boss and confirm. There you go. All right, now let's go back to the dashboard. So 
I should have a lot more leads now, seven. There you go. So obviously I had like, I believe 27 people and not everyone is gonna enter their email. But here's another thing. I accepted everyone. You don't have to accept everyone. So you can kind of make email addresses a mandatory requirement to be able to access your Facebook group. A lot of people use that tactic. All right, now how do you, basically when you are inside your Facebook group and you go to your settings, or um, you can also access the question. So now I'm gonna show you how to ask people for the email address when they join your Facebook group. So for that, you're gonna go to the membership questions right here. And here are the questions that I am asking. So question number one, question number two, and then question number three. If I want, I can edit these. So you're able to do that. And I believe you can also, um, you're able to create yeah, there you go. So you can have multiple choice, check box, uh, check boxes, or written answers of different ways. Uh, if this is the first time you are creating a Facebook group or these type of questions for people, what you want to do is inside your Facebook group, click on more and then click on, I'm looking for group setting. Actually, let me go back. So I'm back on the inside the group and discussion. So I'm looking for edit group settings. So that's what I'm looking for, group settings. So you wanna go inside your group settings and then scroll down. So this is if you are doing this for the first time and you wanna look for, there will be a section called membership request. And then you're able to ask people three questions, right? So you're gonna hit ask questions. I already have three in there, but this is how you can ask questions. And by the way, here's a pro tip. And I, I might do it, and I do have it in some of my groups too. When you ask people for their email, it's, I believe it's a good idea to put some incentive in there. So maybe I might say, what's your best email? And in parentheses, we'll send you our, you know, uh, the best ebook or a freebie or something. So if you have an offer, this is a good way to incent. Remember in the beginning you saw, or a little while ago, you saw 26 or 20 something people enter answer these questions but a lot of people skip the email only seven people gave me the email so the way to increase this uh, the number of emails is if you put a an offer in front of people so you can incentivize people to give their email addresses so that's another uh, option that you can look into all right guys so that's how you can ask people to that was the pro tip for you to incentivize people to give their emails and again going back to our process so when people join our facebook group we ask for their emails and then we capture their emails inside group boss and you can use google sheet or send them directly to your email marketing system but i'm capturing inside my dashboard because i'm able to download the data from there and then you're able to create facebook custom audiences or other um, or use them in your email marketing systems or email campaigns now i want to show you let's go back to another of my group Here's another one, and uh, you can use multiple groups, right? So you're not stuck with just one, two, or three groups. You can add like multiple groups to uh, to your uh, group boss platform. So for example, right here, so 21 people want to join. And if I go here, let's see. I did add the email requirement recently when I got this, uh, access to this, this tool. So it's fairly recently, what I'm probably gonna do is just make it mandatory that, hey, if you do not enter your email address, you don't get into my group, right? So that way the people, I'll increase the percentage of people who are entering their email, right? All right guys, so this was the quick demo of, this is how you can use this simple tool. And yes, it's a paid tool. And I'm one of the affiliate because I'm absolutely in love with, we used to, our, our process in the past was for, we manage uh, groups for a lot of our clients, our process, process was manual. So once people enter their email address, we had to manually copy paste in like Excel sheets or Google sheets, and it took so much time. This tool will save us a lot of time and there's some automation built in. You can create autoresponders and if you have uh, affiliate links or different offers, or you can move people through your funnel. It's very, very powerful. Now I do have an offer for you. The link in the description below. So it's gonna expire. So this this is a link in the description below the lifetime deal. You're able to, so uh, in like for next six, 17 days. So today is 
March 24th, so I believe it's like April 15th or so, you are able to get this tool for what lifetime purchase, which means you only pay once, no monthly subscriptions, no hassle, you only pay for this tool once and you get access. How cool is that? But yeah, I'm super excited to, to, to be able to use this tool because it saves us time, it helps us to increase our lead generation from Facebook platform and it enables us to increase or generate leads from Facebook groups, which I, I believe is a missed opportunity for a lot of people. So yes, just to reemphasize again, there are a couple of links in the description below. One of them is a lifetime deal. If you're able to capture that before this expiry period, which I believe is gonna be, so today's date is March 24th. So it's gonna be April 11th, I believe is the end date. So if you're able to capture and grab that, you can get the lifetime deal of group boss. And here are all the cool uh, features that we did. And yes, there's a money back guarantee. So if you don't like this tool, get your money back, right? All right guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about Facebook groups or lead generation through Facebook, uh, let me know those questions in the comments below. I would love to talk to you. I'd love to engage and answer your questions and provide my insights before you go. Make sure you subscribe with the bell icon and also like this video. Thanks for tuning in today and I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye for now.